Alright, so I, I'm doing that proactively right here to level up Ezreal before I play this Entreat. For that. Fight for your lives. So now I play a spell, and then we Frostbite all five, and then that really helps out my Den Mother. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Sejuani. It's going to be our next viewer submitted donation deck today. This is a deck that is going to be very, very spell heavy. And so finding our units is going to be very important because we don't have very many of them. So we're going to really be mulliganing hard early on for Ballistic Bot and Starlet Seer. Those are going to be like the two most important cards to see in our, in our opener because our units are only those two and then Ezreal, and then Sejuani. We also have two Rhymefang Den Mothers. Whenever we're, whenever it's summoned, you summon a Rhymefang pack and grant it plus one, plus one each time you have Frostbitten enemies this game. So we have a whole lot of Frostbite to go along with those, but those are our only units in our deck, so we really need to be drawing those. But we're gonna be a reactive deck, hopefully having those, and then have lots of spells. Once we have those in play, then it really enables all of our spells. We got our Frostbite, we have Brittle Steel, Three Sisters, um, flash freeze, harsh winds, so lots and lots of frostbite, and then um, you know, so each one of those targets to level up your Ezreal, and then for our removal, we have three thermogenic beam, three mystic shot, three static shock, give us a little bit of card draw as well, and then for some other card draw, we got time trick and entreat. Entreat, of course, will help us find our champions because our our champions are going to be really important. We need them, um, and we need to have them leveled up, especially the Ezreal. Um, and that's what our deck's about. One field of rush at the top end to put both champions in play. And that's going to be it. So let's give it a try. Let's play a very spell heavy deck and let's see how it does. Ezreal Sejuani. All right, Aurelia Azir. Let's see how we do. This looks like a really good hand. Love having the two two drops. Love the Brittle Steel to go along with them to block. Static Shock seems like it could be a really good spell if they have like Green Glade duos and stuff like that. So this hand looks ideal right now. What do you call that technique? That I am superior life form. Check out these moves. We fill it. Okay. Yeah, lots of bots. I guess it's better to play another bot than a Starless here. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. You need not follow, but you will witness. Join me. <laughs> yeah, the new labs look really, really cool. I'm very, uh, very excited about checking those out. That's going to be tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow's stream. We're definitely going to just be hanging out doing that lab tomorrow. All in the shoulders. Yeah, these sparring students are going to be trouble. It's like, how do I? I can't even block them, I guess. I don't want to block with any of these things. Shall we see what I see? Carry it with you. Emperor, I am honored. Yeah, this is trouble. That I am superior life form. Sand and blood! Coming at ya. So ordinary. Alright, so one of those is gonna block. This would be a good win. 
The good news is they're down to two cards. I like that we got the shape stone out of their hands. I am hoping that you know we can kill both of these sparring students with a static shock. That's my hope. Go get the shiny. There's, they'll only have one other card, and then whatever their other card is over here. So really hoping this takes down both of them. Hmm. Nope. We at least got one of them out of there. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Oh man, but this is a leveled up Azir now. And that's a lot of damage coming in. Your Emperor come I have risen and with me, Sharima. It's worth blocking all these because basically they can't like survive anything with the blocks anymore. I mean, they could block the Doom Keeper, I guess, but it's, it's just worth blocking those now. Don't really see how I'm going to survive right now. Haven't figured that part out yet. Watch me now. Mm. Them not attacking was kind of how that would happen. Alright, 0-1. It really is ear deck whenever it has, has a hand. It's tough to beat. So they have like a misfortune that we'd have to get rid of. But this is going to be a better... Man, I mean, this is a good hand. This is going to be a better matchup for us, I think. Because this is going to be a better Frostbite matchup. Explosives Prime. All right, good start. Let's see her draw. Who goes there? I never. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Fortune favors the bold. Clear beyond. Set sail. With that, with that really a Zier deck, I don't think they need to nerf too much. The one thing that I would like to see, and this was something that I, that I wanted to see before, is I would like Sparring Student to be a 1-2 that only grew in power, like all the other things that grow in power and not grow health-wise. So it's not like a 7-7, seven, seven, so it's a 7-2. And it just makes it like where you can actually, you know, where you can kind of deal with that thing in combat. I think that would be pretty nice. All right, being able to use both of these before they are able to Noxion Fervor. Ooh, wow, that's going to be a big dead mother. That will be a big den mother. The world's a big Next place. round. Unfortunately, we haven't really frostbitten anything. But the den mother itself is going to be big. It's a pretty good attack by them, attacking with everything. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Blessed by snow and stars. So basically, I can save one life to do one damage to the Ezreal. That's probably worth it. My life total is probably worth more than the one health on the Ezreal. It's 
tough decision to make. We can have Mystic Shot plus Time Trick, or just play this 11-11. It's a tough decision to make. Predict plus Starless here is kind of rough, because when you predict, you shuffle the deck, and so, like, we are just granting the top ally of our deck plus one, plus one, twice, like, with that Troll Chant, and the two Starless here is out, but they will be... That's just going to be shuffled. I you think I just play the 11-11? The thing is, like, the 11-11 just attacks and, like, kills one of these Crackshot Corsairs, but also creating a Mystic Shot also just attacks and kills one of the Crackshot Corsairs as well. I don't miss. Because then I can play the Den Mother next round. If I go for Mystic Shot, they go make it rain. Not like in the worst, worst spot, I guess. So that all happens. Next round, we got three mana to go along with the right thing. An auspicious season. So I mean, taking four. Six, taking six down to five. Assuming this is if this is Mega Rain, I'd go down to five. Okay. I wanted to do the predict card first because then I wanted to do the Starless here, you know, have like that Starless here plus after the after we shuffled the deck for the predict card. So it wasn't Mega Rain, so that was very good. All right, dead mother. This will send them running. Sejuani with a plus two, plus two from the Starless Ears. That's pretty nice. You own what you pick. For the Empire. The few for the many. Bristle, attack! I don't miss. So right now, like, they would have their 4-2 four, four, block here, the 2-3 block here. They would take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we create a Mystic Shot. Your path ends here. Okay. Or that, that's still them taking 10. Yeah, that keeps them alive. Right, the game continues on. I I saved the brittle seal because of Zap Spray Fin, honestly. Like that's that's what I was thinking there. We see through all. This levels up set twenty. Draws a card. Okay. Cool, cool. Very close game there. Not quite as aggressive as Aurelia Zier with all the go wide ability of that deck. Yeah, that's a good point. If we were able to get a leveled Sejuani and we can frostbite a bunch of stuff, that could be amazing with the Den Mother later than putting in the big wolf. Draven Fizz. Draven Fizz is pretty awesome. Out before they notice. Get some good, really good elusive attackers. Um, you have like the, the new plus five plus zero card. Eyes up here, or I'll cut them out. Humanity is obsolete. Prime and ready. Witness me. 
Yeah, Lee Sin would be on my short list of cards to nerf. I have the best job. Please don't have the way to save this. Please don't. Just let it die. Down. There's not there's not much to change about the format right now. I think that the, the main things are like twin disciplines, merciless hunter, ruin runner. There's not like a lot. It's a pretty good format. Witness perfection, meat bags. System upgrade. Can you improve perfection? Hey, take it to the gun show. Ooh, house fighters are good. Yeah, I was planning on. Uh, yeah, those are good. I was planning on having these be good attackers for me. So, I mean, that's, that's a three mana spell to kill my two mana unit. That's nothing for me to be upset about. More that those kind of things trade and less damage does to me, the better it is for me. Yeah, changing spell shield I think would be a good thing for the game. I don't think that spell shield's a positive mechanic. I, I could see it being... You know, treating it like barrier, basically, like where it's a one, it's a round, one round thing, not a permanent for the whole rest of the game thing. Yeah, this is the block I'm making, right? Because I mean, they they have the spinning axe. Yeah, this is still the block I'm making. Yeah, that's obviously a downgrade to spell shield, but I think it's just I think it's too strong as is. The spells are already pretty expensive in the in this game. I have all these six mana cards, but I want to I want to play this ignition to help out the level up for Sejuani. So I'm planning on playing that and then Ezreal and then saving two spell mana right here. And now Sejuani this round for the Wave Rider. That's the first frostbite for these dead mothers. Remember, never We're in pretty good control of the board right now. I serve a Ooh. Cause. All right, an ally starts a free attack. So free attack with this thing. Three damage. I can take it. I, I don't think I have to troll champ right now. This troll champ would have leveled up Ezreal. But this is where I wanted to use troll champ. Alright, so I, I'm doing that proactively right here to level up Ezreal before I play this Entreat. For that. Fight for your lives. So now I play a spell, and then we Frostbite all five, and then that really helps out my Den Mother. Okay. Yeah, basically that's what we're gonna do. Play the spell, frostbite all five. We Just hadn't dis determined exactly which spell we were playing yet. Probably the thermogenic beam. All right, we got lurk. This the spell mana in this game is an absolutely wonderful mechanic. And it makes the game unique, and, and it—it's the 
best that it's one of the mm, the attack token thing is also one of the best things it's it's one of the very best things about legends of runeterra getting rid of spell mana would be a huge huge mistake rexai pike thing is like flash freeze can be really good in this matchup but we need to find we need to mulligan hard for our units i just i want to keep these because they trade with the early things but we really need to find our units our early units Okay, can we survive till... Feel the Rush is amazing. Can we survive till 9 to play it? That's a fair question. We can try to keep them from lurking if we kill their stuff. It's a few rounds off before I'm playing Sejuani, but it's a valuable card to have. Please kill it. No! Kill it. Oh, right in negation! Wow. Ah, oh, keeps me from drawing a card and everything, too. Wow. That... Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. Could have done those one at a time, I guess. I don't really know why I had to do both at the same time. I can see the argument for frostbiting either one of these. Stand and fight. <laughs> kind of need, kind of need to do some nexus damage. Alright, one main reason why I like using that Fury of the North is I do like getting the Sejuani, the second Sejuani out of my hand. Because I hate when Field of Rush actually pulls Sejuani. That is a very bad thing. Like, it pull, pulls the Sejuani from your hand. Or, like, I don't want it to do that. Hey, Osman. I hope that's not a pike. There's a good chance that it's a pike. But I hope it's not. So we know that that's death from death from below, because that was the card that they just lurked a card and they drew it and they tried to cast as a spell. So that is death from below. So that's really unfortunate. So right now they have how big are these lurks? I guess they're four plus four. So that means so this thing does six damage. Death from below does. Gotta go with the flow. Six damage. Ride onward. Man, that's a great spray fin. It's to block the 10 10. So they just have like this thing blocks here, then they block here and do 6 damage there. Basically, both my Sejuanis are dead. Dang. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. 
here. creating a lot of these hammer snouts. Why do they make this impossible to see what's going on? <laughs> okay, anyway, I know we're gonna flash freeze this thing. This is taking five, eleven. Now what's going on? Okay, so this thing still dies. So it's taking. I guess they got me. Oh, that thing still dies? That thing was... Why was that so difficult to figure out? <laughs> what all that thing was? Alright, well, yeah, they got me. That right of negation was huge, and then, yeah, having the multiple rec size the pike. That one was even tougher to figure out, though, because, like, where my camera is, a lot of those were covered up. But they... I don't think that there was really a way for me to survive that, to be honest. Leeson Auction. I'm hoping that our champion is Ezreal. Do we draw here with the retreat? We each hold a world within. I am prepared. I feel like this is going to be a difficult matchup. Starlet's here! It is time. I, thought you'd never ask. I definitely like that Starlet's here quite a bit. I fight with my He's playing the Ezreal first for mana. Fist. Considerations. Stop bragging if you could back it up. Can't stop me. <laughs> Who goes that? Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Charge! An auspicious season! I feel like we're gonna need um, a frostbite to deal with that. This will be a good winter! Nightstorm! Thank you so much for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going and keeping that support going, Nightstorm. I really appreciate that. You are incredible. You are our second sub of the day. Thank you very much. Okay, we got a 7-7 seven, seven Den Mother. So I got eight cards in hand. They have nine. Looks like we'll be a Fury of Spells. There has not been any spells yet. 
You know how it is. I wonder if I should be playing that Ezreal Mystic Shot instead to like get Ezreal into the deck. I feel like I'm probably going to have to use something to save the Ezreal. Which, again, I do have another Ezreal. Alright, so two Twin Disciplines gone. Like a much bigger Ezreal. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to kill this auction before it levels up. I could see this being Concussive Palm or Will of Ionia. Oh, take your time, pal. Kind of guessing like that that's what that would be. Uh -huh. be. One of those two things. Cool, I bet. You like it? Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Be four out of six. I don't want to get blown out by um, the Sharima deny. They're probably playing normal deny, but just in case they don't want to get blown out by that. Okay, Ezreal leveled up. deal with these three. I don't know. Maybe these three threes are okay. We're gonna have Starlet Seer, Flash Freeze, and Den Mother for this round. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. They just played a new Lee since they have a Lee since Sonic Wave also. That's unfortunate. I mean, maybe it's not the worst. They assume they use. Oh, they just have regular. Okay, so they just have a ton of Sonic Waves. Okay, this is actually this is pretty bad then. Pretty bad. Prepare yourself. Okay. So I can let this I can let this Ezreal die and then have new Ezreal, which is much bigger. But we already saw them have like some kind of spell, so they probably have like a con concussive palm or will of Ionia type card. So maybe new new Ezreal isn't as important then. Continuing on, trying to do damage and trying to burn them out, kinda. Humanity is obsolete. This will, of course, be a credit card. 
I could definitely see passing here, you know, like passing, they don't get to play the Lee Sin, they have to spend the mana on the Lee Sin next round. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Can you prove perfection? But I should probably be playing it. Okay, there's that spell that we were talking about. Okay, I'm playing the smaller Ezreal again, because that's the one they know about. And I'm assuming the Lee Sin's going to take down, like, the Ezreal, right? Like, that's that's a fair assumption. And so they don't have to know about the bigger Ezreal. Uh, Overwhelm. Yeah, they got me. And then they get this. Plus two, plus two spell shield. That thing's lethal. That Absolver is a good card, Lee Sin. Okay, so there we go. That was Ezreal Sejuani with Rhymefang Den Mother. Uh, we didn't Frostbite a lot for the Den Mother, but Den Mother is a cool card. But I'm not sure if it was necessarily better than other options. I definitely liked the Field of Rush quite a bit. And just Ezreal and Sejuani together uh, can be pretty awesome. Did see, like, Starless Hero was really good. The time trick with the Starless Hero is a little awkward, as we talked about with, like, the Predict Shuffling it, it up. I do like Frostbite right now. I think Frostbite just in general is in a good spot. And Ezreal is really powerful at ending games. If you can get a leveled up Sejuani with leveled up Ezreal, those two together are just really, really hard to beat if you can get those two in play because then you're like Frostbite and all their stuff and everything. So that was the goal of the deck was to try to get those two in play. And whenever we got them, it looked really good. All right, but so that's going to be it here, though, for Ezreal Sejuani. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, feel free to hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know what you think of this deck. It's kind of similar to the Puff Cap deck, but no Teemo, no Puff Caps, just using the other two champions instead. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. All right, but that's going to be it here for Ezreal Sejuani. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.